Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate to you the procedure to draw the orthographic projections of an object involving the curved features. We also demonstrate how to read the dimensions of uh, such an object so which has uh, curved features uh, so as uh, shown in the figure here. So please note we have uh, shown here the uh, certain other lines so these are not part of the object so this is just to aid the uh, reading of the dimensions. So what we do in such cases, we start with the center of the uh, curved feature. So we identify that we can easily identify that we have uh, this point as the center of this curved feature or this circle. So from here, if you draw the uh, line, you can read so one, two, and three. Three grid spaces uh, um, we have. So one grid space is the radius of uh, this internal cylinder and uh, beyond that so two more that is total three grid spaces we have the radius of this uh, uh, circle and uh, further uh, now we decrease uh, one unit by uh, two units uh, two two grids height and uh, then again we move along the uh, radius direction again so one grid space further is increased to get this feature. So overall we can see so the uh, width of this particular uh, object or the depth of this particular object which will be visible in the side view. So that is uh, maximum 4 grid spaces. Similar way about the height you can see from the topmost portion you started. So from there you decreased by two uh, grid spaces and then further by one. So overall there are three grid spaces uh, that represents the height. So further, so you go along this direction, you note that this is again three grid spaces you move, and two grid spaces by height you decrease. So then further, so we have uh, a movement of one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. 7 the 16 grid spaces as the length of the object. So to start with we have uh, the top view. Let us start with the top view. If you see here so we start with the top view and uh, here so we draw a circle first there is the distance of 10 grid spaces between the two circles 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 then we have the another circle so then uh, we have uh, the circle representing this one so after that uh, we have another circle representing the outer portion and here representing the outer portion like this. So now line we can draw as tangent to this and uh, tangent to this one and we can always use the mirror command here so then you can remove the portion which is not required by the trim command so this way we complete the top view so the front view uh, will have uh, corresponding to this portion so the rectangle like this please note the mm, surface the curved surface and the flat surface here they merge so completely that there is no line corresponding to that and uh, here uh, to show the this projected portion so we draw 
this line and now to show the holes so we need the hidden color uh, so we use uh, ch command change the line color to cyan and, and show the hidden features like this similar way the hidden lines here and here now about the side view so we use the visible line for the side view so we draw the you know from the side view so 8 by so 8 grid spaces will be the width overall so now the now the next thing that we have is the line uh, so we will have uh, on the side view also this feature visible so this is 6 by 2 so, the, so this upper protrusion will be visible like this and we have uh, the holes so for them we will have the hidden lines and uh, we we'll need to use the cyan color to represent the hidden lines here so for the hole in the front so we have the lines only from this point to this point whereas for the hole at the behind so this hole so the lines will extend throughout the length so overall you will see only so these hidden lines too. so with this we complete all the three views of the given object Thank you.